ensure you digest the latest information there this is the information I'm, I'm providing I mean that will come into effect from Monday the 18th of January otherwise you are banned to come to the UK so they will close the borders will also and temporarily close all travel corridors from 0400 hours on Monday <laughs> بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم Hey guys, so welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is your host Jessica with another useful and important update. Unfortunately, another blow to the international travels to the UK. Uh, the Prime Minister Boris Johnson has announced yeah, from Monday the 18th of January 4 a.m. the restriction will come in place and anyone traveling to the UK they must have the COVID test the negative COVID test in hand with them and they must isolate for 10 days the least actually when they arrive here in the UK otherwise you are banned to come to the UK so they will close the borders and will be restricted yeah quite quite strangely in the UK so this is the announcement from the Boris Johnson yeah which come into effect on the Monday the 18th of January so here let's let's uh, watch the BBC news and we will discuss further yeah, the restriction and the uh, updates actually what you need to do if you're traveling to the UK so the UK's borders are being tightened from Monday morning but for how long and what impact will it have here's our transport correspondent Caroline Davis while most of us are being told to stay at home today saw another announcement about international travel Yesterday, passengers from South America and Portugal were banned from travelling to the UK to stop the spread of a new Covid variant from Brazil. Today, the Prime Minister announced another measure to tighten up travel. To protect us against the risk of as yet unidentified new strains, we will also temporarily close all travel corridors from 0400 hours on Monday. Today's announcement is not a travel ban, it's about quarantine. Combined with earlier policies, it now means from Monday anyone travelling to the UK will have to show they have a negative Covid test less than 72 hours before they depart. When they arrive, they must now quarantine for 10 days, no matter where they've flown from in the world, or pay for a Covid test on the fifth day. If it's negative, they can leave quarantine early. As well as airports, the policy applies to the Eurostar and seaports, but won't apply to anyone travelling within the UK or Ireland or to some jobs like hauliers. The government say that this step is now needed because it's difficult to predict where new variants might come from. Passenger flights are already significantly down. Heathrow Airport handled just over a million passengers in December, down nearly 83% on last year. There's been criticism that this policy would have been more effective if it had been introduced earlier. Lots of the British public will say, look, we're really worried about the variant in other countries. Um, other countries have taken measures, we were slow to it, um, and they will be wondering why this didn't happen sooner and why the delay now till Monday. Deputy Political Editor Vicky Young is in Westminster. Significant changes to the borders almost a year after the pandemic began, so why now? Yeah, I mean, the government has been criticised for not being as strict as other countries. What they've done is to use quarantine as the main tool. Their point being that if someone comes into the country, if they're not going out, then they're not spreading it. And that's the approach they've taken. Now, the logic for doing it now is because they say of these new variants, we've been very good at uh, isolating them and finding them once here. Of course, they want to now try and find them before they get here uh, and they can't be sure where they are coming from. Now, one minister described all this as a safe safety first approach. They say they don't want to fall at the last hurdle. So what is going to get us over that hurdle? Well, it is, of course, the vaccination programme. And here uh, there has been some remarkable progress. Uh, we've heard there are over three million people in the UK now vaccinated and they don't want to have that good work and progress undermined by new variants coming in. So some good news amid some still bad news on deaths and hospitalizations. Guys, I mean, you have guessed it from, the, uh, from this report here at the BBC report uh, this is due to the uh, new variant that's been discovered and the NHS here in the UK that's been overwhelmed uh, almost uh, full in in some areas so they don't, don't want to yeah, overstretch yeah, the NHS that is the main yeah, reason why it's, it's more restriction comes along so you can check yeah, the latest updates of traveling to the UK on the gov.uk website uh, the most important three updates yeah, I can extract from the gov.uk that's that's where I need to share with you guys is the number one is 
you must have the COVID test, negative COVID test done 74 hours before you, you travel to the UK. So three days before you, you uh, get on board to the UK, uh, that must be in hand. Otherwise, you will get a refusal when you come here. And even you, if you come here, you may be fined here. So you need to ensure you abide by this rule. The second rule is the passenger located form. You must fill that as well within 48 hours before you arrive into the UK. The third uh, restriction or the third year point here is uh, traveling to the UK. When you arrive here, you must isolate for 10 days. This is the same as previous as well for the international travelers. So m you must isolate for 10 days and that the address you you'll be living for that 10 days must be on that passenger located form so they can locate you uh, where you are staying for the for your isolation period. So there's a lot more yeah, updates on the gov.uk website. I would urge you if you're planning coming to the UK for, for any reason, ensure you digest that information there. Obviously there's, there's uh, an hourly or daily sort of updates up there and you need to ensure you digest the latest information there. This is the information I'm, I'm providing. I mean, that will come into effect from Monday, the 18th of January. Uh, so I hope guys, I mean, this is useful information. Do share with your loved one as well who, who intend to, to travel to the UK as well. Uh, and I hope, I mean, this will help you the others as well. Thank you very much for your time and patience and keep watching here for more updates. Thank you very much. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim Bismillahirrahmanirrahim Alhamdulillahi rabbil alameen ar-rahmanirrahim Maliki yawm إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله رب العالمين الرحمن الرحيم مالك يوم الدين إياك نعبد وإياك نستعين اهدنا الصراط المستقيم صراط الذين أنعمت عليهم غير المغضوب عليهم ولا الضالين